In a survey of 260 families, we find out that 99 had a dog, 76 had a cat, 34 had a dog and a cat, 98 had neither a dog nor a cat, and they also had no parakeet. Finally, 8 had a dog, a cat, and a parakeet. Eventually we want to answer this question, but right now that's pretty much irrelevant. We just want to get the numbers in these regions and then we can answer any question being asked. So as usual, if you can start in the innermost region, you're better off. That's where the dog, cats, and parakeets overlap, and that's where we know there were eight. Eight had all three. Okay. Now as we spiral out, we sort of like to find these overlapping in the two regions. We did the overlap with three. The only one they tell us with just two, though, is this one. It says 34 had a dog and a cat. So the overlapping region, this football shape, which is the overlap between D and C, the dogs and cats, had to be 34. But we've already counted for eight of them. So to finish out the 34, we would have to have 26 in here because 26 plus 8 is 34 with a dog and a cat. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. We don't have any more overlapping information so it's really not possible at least right now to figure out and maybe not at all what the uh, numbers that go here and here are. But this might be a good time to, to uh, glance at the final question. The final question is how many people had a parakeet only and that's going to be the number right here. So unless somebody asks me a question directly about this or this, I might can get by without knowing which number goes here and which goes here. I need to know the number of people inside this dog circle entirely but I don't necessarily need to know how many will go here and how many go here. So that, that's sort of the tricky part here because they really didn't tell you enough information to break that down and if you try to you're going to probably get stuck. So what I would say is that 99 had a dog and I've already added I've already accounted for 26 plus 8 of them that is 26 plus 8 is 34 so if I've already accounted for 34 of those that would leave 65 in the dog region. Now I don't know how many of the 65 go here and here, but given the question they ask, I really don't care either. So what I'd probably do is just write 65 and kind of write it on the border and it takes care of everything in both regions. I don't know the split between that. I don't know how many of those 65 go in the smaller region, how many go in the bigger region, but I do know if you lump those two regions together, they have to come out to 65 in order to make 99 in the dog circle entirely. Okay, it's a little tricky. I can play that same game with the cats. I've got the same 34 cats and I need 76 all together. So if I take those 34 away, I get uh, 42. Now again, I don't know how many of those 42 cats go in that little part and how many go there, but I do know if you take those two pieces together, it has to come out to be 42. So I'll sort of just write it on the border and what I'm saying here is everything both together is 42. I don't know the split, but I know together I have 42. And this may get me by because of the question they asked. So now I've used this information and I've used this information and of course I've already used everything I've starred. The only piece of information I have not used other than the fact there are 260 families is that 98 had none of the three. So that gives me a 98 out here, and that's actually pretty easy. Maybe I should have even done that earlier. Now the only information that I haven't used is there, is that there are 260 families. So everything in this universal set has to add up to 260. And remember, I'm looking for how many people had a parakeet only, and I'll just call that X. And I'm trying to figure out what X is. So what I know is that everything in this universal set has to add up to 260. So if I just start adding x plus 98 plus 65 plus 8 plus 42 plus 26, I think I've added everything, I need to come out with a final answer of 260. 
So that allows me to solve for x. So I just want to add up those numbers. And I could probably do it in my head. Not too bad. But if I do want to use a calculator, and I think I will here, just so I won't uh, make a mistake on camera, I take 98, and I'm off to the side doing this on a calculator, plus 65 plus 8 plus 42 plus 26 equals. So all those numbers add up to 239. So I know that x plus 239 is equal to 260. So that means x is equal to 260 minus 239. And that gives me, my arithmetic is not failing me, 21. So there are 21 families that had a parakeet only. And that problem was a little tricky because you weren't able to put numbers individually in these two regions. You just had to lump them together. And you weren't able to put individual numbers in those two regions. You just had to lump them together. But once you see how that trick works, then you've got it from then on. So if you're ever given a problem where you don't have enough information to put everything in, assuming the question is uh, allows it, you can probably get by with just lumping things together.